it wasn't for First Step um, being here, uh, I don't know what I would have done, um, except for continue to stay in a situation that um, I no longer wanted to be in, that I was scared and unsafe in. If the help was not there, I believe that um, my children would have grown up probably doing the same thing as their dad. Um, if I would have been alive, not even sure, uh, because there was nights where um, I didn't know if I was going to survive from his hands. So um, with first step being there, uh, I believe they saved my life. So I'm thankful that they were there and, and still are today. My name is Deborah Benjamin. 40 years ago, in 1978, I became the first executive director of First Step. The world was very different then. The problem of spouse abuse was concealed from public view. No one wanted to talk about what was happening behind closed doors. Attitudes such as, she must have done something to deserve it, or you make your bed, you lie in it, were pervasive. Why women stayed in abusive relationships was not understood. In Western Wayne County, it took the passionate efforts of a dedicated group of progressive thinking people to make a difference. Their story is one of coming together. So the now organization of Dearborn uh, got permission from Chief Recklin, which means from Mayor Tom Taylor, to go through the records to categorize what were regular assault and batteries, I punch you with the bar, kind of stuff versus domestic violence. And that gave the numbers that they needed. And the numbers uh, was part of what uh, the agency that came to be First Step needed to show a basis. Because you gotta find the facts before you can get the funding. First Step received a seed grant from the city of Westland and a contract with the federal government for one staff member. So First Step was born with just me and one wonderful assistant. Together, we built a network of volunteers. First Step is a nonprofit private organization that was, be, that was begun to provide services to victims of domestic violence. Later, we added sexual assault services. The services range from 24-hour line to crisis support, uh, individual and group counseling, 24-hour crisis line, transitional housing, and shelter. First Step brings um, a sense of, first and foremost, I think, safety and a, a ability to let um, families experiencing violence um, know they're not alone and that people do believe them and do care and will support them in any way that is necessary um, to, to be safe. And I think the community is a better place because of First Step. Um, in my transition to the TSH program, um, I left my home with nothing. Basi I basically left with four bags of luggage and nothing else. Um, when I transitioned in the, into the TSH program, not only was I provided a safe place, a place where I could call home, I was also provided with everything that's included in a home. Uh, furniture, beds, blankets, pillows, utensils, pots, pans, dishes, cleaning items, you name it, and it was provided. I have worked very hard to rebuild my life with the help of First Step. The counseling really helped me find my potential, for that matter, and really helped me rebuild my life from scratch, literally from scratch. Um, some of the cases I've experienced and worked with are clients that have been um, impacted by domestic violence, impacted so much that some of the things that has happened, they don't even identify those things as domestic violence. They just think it's just normal, everyday part of life. We work with them to explain what domestic violence look like, um, to eliminate any concerns or barriers. One of the biggest things is safety. Is my husband gonna find me? Is he gonna know where I'm at? Is he gonna take the children from me? 
kids often do feel like domestic violence is their fault. Um, sometimes an argument might start because of something that was happening with the children. Um, and kids, when they hear those things, they, they take it in as, okay, well, this is my fault. My, it, I'm the reason that my parents aren't getting along or that someone's being hurt. Um, and so a big part of what we do in the children's program is to inform and educate kids about what the causes of violence are and helping them to know that domestic violence, sexual violence, none of that is ever their fault. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about our story. Um, we grew up in an abusive household and my mom, you know, she made the decision to say, you know what, enough was enough. And being afraid as enough as we are, um, coming into a new area was new for us and we came across first step. And I can honestly say that the moment we walked through those doors, first step, their staff greeted us with love. Um, um, they supported us. It was a place of safety where we could feel safe. And, you know, not only did they greet us with love, they gave us the support and tools and resources that we need to uh, survive. First step gave me the confidence to look at my situation in a clear manner and to finally say to myself, it's true, it's really true, this is an abusive situation. You, you don't have to put up with this anymore. Wherever I go, I uh, tell people about First Step, and I carry um, items in my purse with the First Step phone number and tell what a tremendous organization they are and how much they helped me. I would say that the staff at First Step are some of the finest individuals that you would that you could find anywhere. I, I was a typical battered woman and um, I was very much trapped in that situation financially. I'd been married for 10 years, didn't work at all, had three young children and um, I believe at the time they were at um, Nankin Mills. There was an office there in Nankin Mills and I went there and met with a counselor and decided to, um, to make a plan to leave. And that was my first step. When I think about uh, all the contributions that people have done, uh, we've got donors that have given us over a million dollars. Karen wilson smith Bauer donated a significant gift so that we could buy our new shelter. And we have staff members that work 24-7 in the middle of the night, and they go out to hospitals to uh, support survivors of sexual assault and they're leaving their families, they're leaving their homes because they really care, they're mission driven, they're committed, they're caring. I sat down with Judy Ellis and Teresa Bizzo and on a napkin in a restaurant we wrote up how we were going to raise the three to six million dollars to get the shelter started and that napkin I still have I should have brought today because it listed you know wh who was going to give us money and how we we're going to pull this off and it was such a stretch for us to think that we could do it but the napkin prevails we did actually um, and thanks so much to Karen uh, Kalina Wilson uh, Smith Bauer who, uh, who gave us the, the lead gift for this we would never have been able to do it without her. And I had been at the shelter uh, and it was really in need of repair and then I really felt they needed a new place and so then I, I helped to um, do that. And that's what First Step gave me is a different perspective from the law enforcement side. Um, and one of the things that um, made a difference to me is hearing how strong these women and some men um, that are in that situation are. Um, and to me that, that it really was um, powerful to hear you know, all the different stories, but the, the strength of I'm gonna get through this um, for myself and for my kids, um, but it's not very easy to do. It's, it's, like I said, it's easy to say it's not easy to do, and First Step provides that guidance and that safe harbor, and I, I think it's um, absolutely saved lives. I have the utmost respect for the, the folks that, that have worked for First Step over these last 40 years. Um, they persevered under the most incredible of circumstances, hearing stories that no one should have to hear, no one should have to witness, that should never happen. Um, they've worked many a day and night um, tirelessly, sometimes very tired. Um, they helped open buildings, they, um, they got up in the middle of the night. Um, this is not a job to them. This is a mission. And these people are special. 
The First Step family is an awesome family. We love each other, we work together. We may not always agree, but we agree that our mission is the same, to keep our community safe, to educate people about domestic violence. That's not only education for survivors, it's education for people that may have seen something and not quite sure what they seen. So as a, as a family, a First Step family member, I'm proud to say that we do what we can and you know, maybe I don't know, but I got a partner that may know something. So I think one case um, that really stood out to me um, was probably a teenager that I worked with not too long ago. And one thing that was so impressive to me was that this teenager was able to really stand up and eventually be their own advocate. Um, they were able to talk to uh, a judge that was involved in custody decisions and to have their voice heard and to talk about what they had gone through, um, what they had witnessed, and also the healing that they felt they were experiencing by you know, the separation that had happened. And so um, to just witness this child's bravery and their ability to stand up for themselves, um, I think is something that continues to inspire me in my work with kids. Um, there are some that are, you know, really dangerous situations. Um, it's always good to see the, the uh, client actually leave the situation, arrive in the shelter, and to see the progress that they make. Um, whether it be, you know, moving out on their own or, you know, moving in with a, a safe family member or just kind of completely getting out of the situation. A lot of um, what our clients experience is control or manipulation using the legal system. So sometimes legal intervention is absolutely essential to getting clients out of of a domestic violence situation. So now myself, I've been divorced for 21 years um, on my own and my children are grown. They have my oldest son has a family of his own. He works at Chrysler. He's also an evangelist. My daughter is an attorney downtown, a uh, corporate attorney. My son, the youngest son is a senior banker uh, at Quicken Loans. And um, I think that because of the tools that we were provided for, the confidence that was given to us uh, from first step, um, we would not have been able to be this uh, successful. My life today has changed drastically. Before I was a prisoner in my own life, I had no voice. I had no one. But today, ultimately, I have a voice, I'm empowered, I'm stronger, wiser, and I've become enlightened. So I'm inviting you to be a part of this amazing and dynamic group of people who have come together to ensure that our community is safer and more peaceful. And I'm asking you to please continue to support us and join with us to ensure that we always are able to serve the needs of our community and our survivors when they need us. Please consider becoming a donor, a volunteer, a community partner, and giving whatever time, talent, and treasures you have to make our community safer. If I could give advice to anyone living in an abusive relationship, I would say there's hope, there's help, and there's first step.